Hello YouTubes. Today I wanted to make a video for those out there that have an F series BMW. I think this applies to all F series. Uh, don't quote me on that though. This little mod has to do with the manual transmission cars and it's all about getting rid of the clutch delay valve. Now I know that the clutch delay valve has been in existence with BMW since I think the E46s. Again, don't quote me on that. That's just what I know from Google University and YouTube and the forums. From everything that I've read on the forums, people say that it's a complete game changer and it brings back that raw, authentic, manual transmission feel to BMWs. And quite frankly, I would like to have that mechanical feel of a manual transmission. Otherwise, I would just go for an automatic. It took about two hours total, and that included getting the car in the lift, getting the slave cylinder out, screwing the clutch delay valve out, putting everything back together. The majority of that time was actually bleeding the clutch. So this process isn't really rocket science. It's pretty straightforward. I think that this could apply to newer manual transmission BMWs and older ones. It seems like if you have a slave cylinder in your manual transmission, then you probably have a clutch delay valve and it's probably deletable. I had to film all this on an iPhone, so the footage isn't the best, then nor is the audio, so excuse me for that. I just show you how it's done and that it is possible to do on an F3X Generation 3 Series, or 4 Series for that matter, and possibly beyond, and particularly on an X-Drive car. Now, my mechanic, Jackie King at King's Automotive, he was thinking about getting rid of the butterfly shaft, I believe he called it, which is the, the drive shaft that goes from the front diff to the transfer case, being as I do have an X-Drive car. But he opted to just say, screw it, and unbolted the slave cylinder, took that out completely. I guess that was just way easier to access the actual clutch delay valve. So that's how we went about it. So hope you enjoy and hope it helps some of you Get rid of that pesky clutch delay valve, which is a huge bummer. Woo. All right, Jackie, what job are you performing here today? Uh, the clutch delay valve delete on an F3335. X drive. X drive, X drive. Yeah. I can't forget that. So the clutch line is pinched. Slave is somewhere right up there ish. Okay, there's the slave. It's dripping a little. Oh, so nice to have a lift. So I guess this is standard though, right? Because you have to bleed the, the clutch anyways? Yeah, yeah, you gotta bleed it after for sure. And just like the other YouTube video from whoever made that one, we did pinch it off, but obviously there's enough fluid that will get right past. Yeah, there's still some fluid in the lines, some of them slave, so it's to be expected. Generally, it's not even recommended to pinch a line, but... So Jackie here was suggesting you could also take out the drive shaft to make because, it yeah, to get more clearance, because this is, again, an X-Drive car, but it's still doable because when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> With a snap-on tools, there is a way. I'm trying to see if I can take out the whole fucking uh, 
Is that the sleeve right there? No, this isn't the sleeve. This is just a pipe that goes to it. I just want to see like if they have it stepped down anywhere else, but it's just a single pipe. Yeah. Okay, let's put the CDV in the sleeve. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take out the sleeve for a little bit easier. I'd rather do that than take out the propeller pad. How many extensions is that? <laughs> Five. Really? Yeah, just trying to get a good angle on it. Make the short. I'm gonna put it right here on the side. That's it. Just gotta send a couple screws in here and then. So it's in there? Yeah, the cluster lay valve is basically like a small little thing in there. It just basically takes a line from like 316s and reduces it down to like. A crazy little, small diameter, I don't know exactly, but... Small pinhole though. Yeah, you can actually see it. I don't know if it'll be able to catch that, but... Oh yeah. Yeah, super small. Oh wow. Yeah. Really small. You know, typical wood screw. Obviously it needs to be long enough. But this is probably a little too long, but it'll work. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah. Just kind of thread it in by hand, didn't go far enough. So you thread it in and kind of... Yeah, there's like a, a put, rubber piece you'll pull out first. Uh, that's not the delay valve. Um, and after you take this first piece out, I think the delay valve is behind it. Yeah, because the rubber piece, uh, the delay valve is actually metal, right? Yep, aluminum. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Came oh, out a lot easier it? than the guy in the video. Oh, wow. Super small. Yeah, so it goes from 3 sixteenths to whatever that is. Think about it. The outer diameter of this is what the normal clutch line is. And then it reduces it to that little pinhole. I don't know why they call it like a valve, because a valve usually opens and closes. It goes like one way. But that's more yeah. just like a restrictor. All it does is step down the diameter of the tube. So it doesn't really prevent like back flow or anything like that. I see. But you said so that, that rubber gasket is not necessary to Yeah, so the back cylinder in. doesn't, this perfect cylinder doesn't go back in. The, the clutch delay valve goes inside the slave cylinder first and this just actually retains it. So, I see. Yeah. Okay. What'd you say, Andre? That's a <laughs> I really want to race them in the E92, but just watch out because the fluid might come out at you. Yeah. Dude, I got pulled over the other day. It was not cool. Really? <laughs> yeah. How fast? Uh, well, some yeah. guy pulled over me mad hard. Turns out it was a cop. I oh. He was like in an older like cop car, so yeah. I couldn't tell. Usually, obviously, we all can pull off the headlights. You see. Um, I didn't know it was a cop, so I kind of gunned it a little. He pulled me over instantly. I was like, fuck. Uh, I was only doing 100. Um, nothing crazy. Where, Where were you at? Huh? Where were you at? 287. Not a good high. Fucking. Yo, the other day I did 180. Yo, it was fast as fuck. Yo, it was scary. Uh, and then, like, I was like, okay, I got chills. Like, 1 a.m., 
Um, middle of the night, so, and there was no one there. So I was like, okay. Well, yeah, that was not quick. Yet, but... It's not. But it's how, not. how much of a pain is it to bleed these? That's the hard part. Uh, usually on BMWs, you gotta reverse bleed them. Because on like almost every other car, the bleeder port on the slave cylinder faces directly up because the air is going to go to the highest point. But for some reason on BMWs, like kind of face down. So it's hard to get the air out. So what people actually do is they pump fluid back in so the air goes up and through the mass. Can I order a pie? Yeah, uh, can you order and a pie? And a garlic nut? Yeah. This extension collection. <laughs> yeah. One, it's the angle two, of the dangle, three, you know? Four. There's more. Oh, I got more, man. Five. You don't know how, how like, life-saving wobble extensions are. Oh, I know. I've just broken so many that yeah, I'm well, like, Yeah, you're not oh, really, suck. they're for low torque applications. I was putting low torque, relatively. Actually, maybe not. I don't remember. Dude, snap on, bro. We don't pay a thousand dollars for no reason. So, technically the air, the fluid on the master cylinder will come down and just push the air out. Ah. Just use a gravity. That's what's called gravity bleeding. There you go. Damn, yeah, that drive shaft is like right in the middle of everything. Yeah. The reverse bleeding, you would always just want to pour it down here. Uh, well, the, the reservoir will always have fluid in there. So if you just keep it topped off, you know, the, if you open up, let's say I poked a hole in the bottom of like wherever the system is, the fluid's gonna wanna go through there. But since the fluid, since the air will get trapped down there. Is it being a bitch? Yeah, just gotta put it back, G bleed it. Should be good. Is that just like a safety clip that holds everything together? It basically, the seal like shoves into it uh, and then this prevents the two pipes from coming apart from each other. Right. We don't want that. Yeah, it technically retains the seal, so. That's everything that leaked out. Carbon fiber, good stuff. Do we have a pedal? I don't think it wants it. Sick.
like a long time ago. Coming down for the last time. G bleeding is honestly the best that I found. Is that just getting off the excess? Yeah, it's like way too much. The point, so actually feeds the clutch master cylinder. It just doesn't have a clutch like oh, uh, reservoir. Own. Yeah, it doesn't have a reservoir on its own. So you have to fill, the thing, so you could say like, oh, well what if like your slave cylinder goes out? If that shares the same reservoir with the brake master, then technically if you leak out all your fluid, your brakes will stop working. Well, the way like they, prevent that is they have the hose kind of high up in the reservoir so the brake mass is still in the reservoir has to be filled like OD for fluid to be able to go through here. That way if your slave cylinder leaks and all your fluid comes coming out of the of the slave cylinder, you still have your brakes. Uh. So, yeah, so I always have to fill it up like way past the maximum so like fluid can go down into the slave cylinder. I see. Yeah. What's that, a degreaser? It's not a degreaser, it's actually like a UV protectant thing and it leaves like a pretty nice shine. It doesn't oh, nice. really dry. And it's not like greasy as fuck. What's that stuff look like? Uh, it's Aerospace 303. People use this on their dashboards. It helps prevent like dash cracks and everything. Uh. So, yeah, it's actually super popular. It's a real manual car now. Oh, that's very quick. Oh, that feels good. This truly feels like a different car. Straight up feels like a regular ass manual. My last car before this, was a turbo NA Miata, obviously manual. And then I had a couple manual cars before that, both Civics. This, I actually didn't suck at driving stick just because it's been a while when I got this car. It was just that clutch delay valve. This is a game changer and it took about two hours total from getting it to the lift, to getting the delay valve out, to bleeding the system, it feels so good. Oh wow. Downshifts are so much better. Woo! Thank you very much to everyone viewing. Thank you very much to Jackie King at King's Automotive, which is located at 172 Glen Wild Ave in Bloomingdale, New Jersey. Not Bloomfield, Bloomingdale. Uh, relax.